Hello everyone and welcome back to the Roblox Oops. <laughs> hey everyone and welcome back to the Minecraft Bedrock Survival World series. This is episode 14. Now you might be wondering why am I doing this out intro uh outside of the balcony? So in this video, I'm just gonna be showcasing you guys some recent renovations or changes and developments we have done for in the world. And as you can see, I got a couple of friends in the Minecraft world doing live development. The reason why I'm outside is because I actually renovated my bedroom in Minecraft. So if you take a peek inside here, here it is. Someone has said it looks like a little penthouse, which uh, I agree. I just want to have a modernized little look to it. I just want a clean and polished place. Uh, so yeah, here is my new bedroom. You can see the chests are still there. All of my item blocks are there as well. And uh, I think I'm comfortable having my armor and tools on display. I trust my world residences um, to not steal them. So here's a quick showcase of the bedroom. So uh, yeah, I had a couple of friends come over for a sleepover and uh, we had some goofy moments like uh, this new painting is on TV right now. Yes, I got an actual TV in my room. Yay, finally some television. Uh, <laughs> this painting just catches me off guard. We also got my beds, but uh, yeah, due to the sleepover, it's been kind of wrecked. I mean, we got a poop bed, uh, a vomit bed, some cat fur bed, and a piss bed, so that's very pleasant. Um, so here's my little desk here as well, as my armor stand and stuff, and Dragon wants to be in the footage for a bit, uh, so here's that. Uh, we got a nice little window view of the outside. It's raining right now, unfortunately, but that's good, good weather. Um, I just really like how this turned out, and... Yeah, I even organized my uh, chest stuff. Only this room has been renovated in the mansion. Now, the next thing I want to showcase that we have developed in the Minecraft world. Oh, wait, first off, the wolves. Hey, what's going on, Timmy, Bob, Max, Mike, and Bobby Tim? Just chilling. You guys good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I still need to get rid of this freaking aquarium. This is like the third time or something I've mentioned it in my recordings. I'm gonna remove it. I just completely forgot it. Anyways, so the next thing I want to showcase in this world is a friend of mine named Dragon Lord is actually uh, in the midst of building his own castle. Yes, he has re relocated like a couple of times. But here is um, what he has done so far. Obviously, it's not finished. But yeah, here's a quick glimpse about it. He has his own little beacon to uh, speed up his progressions. Uh, he has, I love how the um, the lava pillars are like. I'm not sure if I can enter his castle, uh, but if you just take through the window. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, obviously it's not much because he actually started recently building this yesterday. We're actually in our back to our weekly phase of Minecraft gaming. Like, we just play Minecraft every day for a week straight, and then we just don't touch the game ever again for like a couple of months. So, I figured it's best to just record a video about the <laughs> the world progress right now. Uh, another thing we have done is I play some more torches around the world, and um, so, you know, it gives more life to it, and the fact that, you know, less chance of mobs will be spawning. Uh, so, here's Panther's uh, area, it's, and everyone knows about it, so it's very beautiful, the cherry blossoms, and Got the little dojos and his own little horse stable, the temple. I don't know if I showed you guys yet, uh, but this is his little um, dragon mountain statue, which looks really magnificent. I love how the water runs through it as well. I can never build something like that from my imagination because my building skills are not up to that par. Uh, so this is a vacant castle. Dragon Lord used to move in here, but uh, renovations just kind of got tricky here. So now this castle is pretty much abandoned. I don't want to take this build down. Um, I don't know if Panther is gonna. Pa Panther's building in it. Oh yeah. Okay, so Panther is moving in here, so it's not vacant. But uh, yeah, he's just working on the interior for the first floor. I think he has scrapped the idea of building on the second floor, which is perfectly fine since it's just it's just so much work. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments below, guys, of uh, your thoughts of our world progressions and builds so far. And um. Yeah, I think in the, in the previous video, I have showcased you guys our zoo completion. We have actually built um, the zoo. Um, so here it is right here. It's already done with. Uh, I know Minecraft has released a new update, which uh, includes um, armadillos. And there's a new structure to look out for. It has, has copper and stuff inside. I don't know what it's exactly called. Do you know what it's called, Dragon? 
trial ruin? Trial no, ruins, no. probably. It's the trials. The trials. Yeah, it's something about the trials. Okay. You get a lot of weird words from it. All right. So uh, yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna build a small armadillo enclosure. There's there's a bit of room left. Uh, I'm probably gonna take down these one of these two uh, structures here the, for the llamas or alpacas, what you guys call them. Uh, whatever, what else we have showcased? Oh, so this building right here, this giant furnace, is an automatic little smelting building. If someone is trying to smelt huge quantities of certain stuff, you know, that's going on in here. Now, over the course of a couple of months, most people have kind of left the world. Well, actually, I kind of kicked them out because they're either no longer active or, you know, for various reasons. It just naturally happens in every single Minecraft uh, survival world with people inside, so here are the current residences of the world. We currently have like um, six or seven permanent residences, which isn't too bad, you know, I prefer to just have a small amount than having like, you know, 500 people to look out for in the world. Um, but yeah, and also here is a friend of mine, Doggy Doodles, who is currently feeding the ground with uh, cooked chicken. Thanks, I guess. So what are my plans for right now in the Minecraft world? Well, since it's been a while since I actually look into the world, I might have to do um, just a bit of renovations. Like, for example, some properties are no longer being used, like this area right here. So I may have to take this down. Like, like Lux's uh, house. Yeah, I may have to take this, take this down. Um, there might be a couple of new farms I have to go build as well. Um, I also want to get started with, um, oh yeah, I also started building this monorail system, I'm going to show you guys in a bit. So I started branching out this monorail system, and what this does is, well, basically, it makes you travel around the world at a quicker pace uh, via minecarts. Now, I know there's alternatives to, like, making faster transportation, like, boats on ice, but, you know, there's a couple of pros and cons for that as well, but, uh, I like the standard, you know, classic monorail system, it just looks nice and industrial like to me but uh, maybe for the future if let's say uh, a mutual of mine like Gabe gone for example wants to have uh, some sort of transportation that's connecting from our home base to his base then we might just use a boat and ice but I like the main source of transportation is the monorail it just, it just looks nice um, so I think the main gist of it is pretty much done um, it consumes a lot of our smooth stone and rails and whatnot and, and redstone too, so oh Yeah, and also made a new banner for the minecraft world. So now this banner right here Flag banner whatever you want to call it is a rose and I think it just looks very very beautiful Roses are my favorite flower. It's on a nice clean white background. It's just I don't know I it resembles peace and harmony to the world as we just continuously make um, progressions in the world as we explore, build, and make memories and have some goofy moments, you know, that kind of thing. This micro world, I just take it not too seriously. We're not just some heavily focused, you know, Minecraft world trying to be like the best in all of Bedrock. I just like to have the idea of, you know, having a Minecraft survival world series going on just for something to look back at, you know, for, from years later and stuff. And uh, I think that's mm -hmm. all the major renovations we have to showcase in the world. Of course, there's more to it yeah. in the future. So if you want to stay tuned and stay updated for the latest updates of the Minecraft world, make sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah. Man, man, yesterday. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you see the day counter up there? Oh, um, yeah. Top, especially, like, <laughs> top, top left. <laughs> We're at 2,475 in-game days. That is insane. I didn't know we would, like, go that far. I thought we would be, like, around 200 or something, like what Dragon said. But no, <laughs> yeah. I think the majority of it is simply me AFKing in certain farms for several Minecraft in-game days. For, just the, for those who are aware, we have this little day system. Uh, so on the top right, it says People Zenian Day 90. This means that this is our 90th real life day of me logging into the world so um on day 100 of us logging in i might do something a little special for a video with all my friends we might explore a structure together as a group or we might just fight up fight up with mobs or just i guess hang out in the world as a group i'm not sure yet i might have to speak with that with my world colleagues um <laughs> so yeah 
The days played on the left just simply means how many Minecraft day cycles have gone through. Not real life days. Our world is not several years old, okay? Um, oh yes, and this is a statue we worship to. Yes. And that is it to showcase for our progressions in the world. Uh, so yeah, you want to stay tuned, make sure to subscribe, and uh, yeah, if you want to see more of the videos in our playlist, uh, it's going to be linked in the description below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, comment below what are you looking forward to seeing in the world, or if you own a world, you know, what are you currently progressing in in your survival world? I would like to know. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and peace. Ugh.